all the footage you are about to see is from the 20th. I have vlogged this week, but for some reason I just didn't upload and I didn't record enough to upload. So you're going to get a five day long vlog now. Well, not five. You're going to get five days worth of footage. Enjoy. I've got to do some testing today. I don't know if I spoke to you guys about it uh, when I got my new golf club the other day. But uh, you can change the loft on my driver, which means the face of the club you can change slightly to fit your needs. I also tried these out, the uh, tag tape. You didn't obviously see it, but again, it was really wet, so I couldn't really stick them to the face. That's why I just stick them to the face of the club, and then that stick will get marked where the ball hit the face. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm waiting for Ethan and Jason to get out the house, and then we will be going to golf I've been waiting for this weather to get a little better all day. Whoa, that's bright. There we go. It's been raining most of the day, but look at these blue skies. They just came out of nowhere. So I was like, yep, yeah, let's go golf, boys. So I'm waiting for Jason and Ethan to get to the house. Bill! Hello, oh, you motherfucker! All I do is adore you all of the time. I like to. I wasn't joking. I was probably one of the worst uh, golf sessions I've had in a while. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't find my rhythm. I was missing balls constantly. It just really wasn't a good session. And considering I've been watching some golf videos and tutorials recently on how better to strike the ball, how better to get technique fixed, um, it doesn't seem like my body wants to learn new techniques. I don't crossing my fingers right now my knee for the last few days has been feeling better i didn't train all last week but we were going to golf and i was quite active throughout the week um but to start off monday i think i'm actually going to go for a run because i did say i was going to so trying to find some energy to go for a run that was yesterday it is now 25 minutes past six I did train and I thought my knee was better and it wasn't. I know I keep talking about my knee and how bad it is and how annoying it is. It's frustrating for me because I'm on this, this buzz. I want to train, I want to get fit, but this knee is just stopping me and it's really getting frustrating now. And I wouldn't say I'm getting depressed, but it is annoying me that it's affecting my training because I've got a treadmill downstairs that perfectly works. And I've got a mindset that perfectly works but my body just isn't perfectly working so i went to tesco and hopefully i've got some things that'll help support my knee better than just letting it f run freely as it is now these which i was going to get anyway but they're just not supportive enough to hold my knee in place and give it that support so i actually bought one of these proper knee supports but i needed an adjustable one you can't really see that because of the jason actually gave me his and uh it wasn't big enough so i needed one i could adjust myself really expensive though like so i'm gonna use this at the bottom but before i put that on i'm gonna get some of this and put some of this on my knee it's got ibuprofen in which is an anti-inflammatory. So I'll put that on my knee, then I'll put this on, and then I'll put this on over the top. I'm gonna put it on, and then I'm gonna go for a run. I'll see how well this helps me. I hope it does, because I really wanna get back into it. I just wanna get back into running, strengthening my knee up, and just feeling better, and getting into a regime of training like three, four, five times a week, whatever it is. But at the moment, like I said, it's just annoying that 
this knee is affecting my training. That knee strap didn't work. I paid £19 for this yesterday, and I don't know what it is about me, but I've got really, really big thighs. And this strap, this adjustable strap, I maxed out. I couldn't fit my legs in it. £19 down the drain because I left the receipt in Tesco. So then my dad actually had knee straps. Tried this one, again, my thigh maxed it out, wouldn't fit. And then I had this one, which is a proper plated, one and again i tweeted out yesterday saying that i got a new knee support and someone who i speak to sometimes on twitter woodley actually tweeted me back and said get some k tape and i'm so glad i did now because i bought the k tape literally about 20 minutes after i bought that knee support kind of as like a backup and now it looks like i'm going to be going to this pretty much every time because Knee straps are not only uncomfortable for me, but they don't actually fit, so. So there it is. I don't know if any of you have seen it before. Footballers use it, but I think any athlete will be using this. A lot on shoulders, a lot on calves, hamstrings. I'm going to fit in now and see how it works. Also, look at this. Look at this weather today. Look at this. I don't know where it came from, but about 3 o'clock this afternoon, the sun just appeared, all the clouds disappeared, and the sun just came out, and it is boiling. I was gonna go to golf today, but I don't know how it happened, but last time I went, I pulled my back, and it doesn't really feel too great. I have got something to show you, which is down here. There's one problem with trying to start golf as a vegan because the main, uh, the main material in golf clubs is leather. A lot, they use a lot of leather on the palm. I've been looking for the last week or so on uh, what gloves to get. Ended up getting these. This one actually fits me. It's fully 100% vegan, which is amazing. As you can see, they are actually different. Nope, you can't see because of the sun. It is now the next day. I've been wearing my tape on my knee for about 24 hours and it's been good. It's actually been really good. I didn't train on it last night, but I am gonna go on a treadmill now for a half hour and just see how my knee feels and see how this tape holds up. One big thing is that ibuprofen gel has just recovered my knee. I don't know how it worked, but I had like a month of pain and rest or anything couldn't get rid of it and then i did two or three goes of that ibuprofen gel and the pain has gone away it's just a little bit of discomfort and my knee is just a bit weak now obviously we're gonna jump on a treadmill that wasn't bad i did the 32 minutes which was a mixture of Incline walking, jogging, and normal walking. As about as far as I could push it. Uh, it was good because it didn't feel like my knee was going to pop out of my leg today. But it did remind me that I do need to, to rehab my knee. I can't just come in and just run flat out for 20, 30 minutes. I've actually got to do some walking and, and gradually build my way up now because this injury kind of flew out of nowhere. So that, that run helped me get... Uh, 2,000 steps over my goal for the day as well, which is good. <sighs> I'm tired now. I think I'm actually going to take this uh, strapping off. Who is? 
Ese. Where are they going to have a look for it? Yeah. Eight minutes and then we'll go and see Nanny, alright? Yeah. Well, that was going to say, I don't know what this is. Oh, boy. You've got to keep that on. Come on, then. Come on, go. <laughs> Come on. Come on, then. What are you doing? <laughs> right. Ready? Oh! Over next door! Go on over next door! Oh! I hear myself! Oh, nearly! And some flowers for Mother's Day. Cake. Not going to Rick, huh? I know you've asked this time. Oh, you mustn't pee for a lot of Thank you. Oh, he was going to say it anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what have you got? Marty's. But mine's not full. I'm going to show these there. out right now. Like, it's okay. It's like. Hey, yo! Yeah. Well, that's like a full on twig. Oh, that's why it was wood. <laughs> it was cutting into that. It's like a wooden stick. That actually looks quite good. That come out quite nice. Look at that. Little chop. It makes it look like I did a really good job when all I did was chop them straight in the bears. They come out quite nice. Where do you want them? Look at it Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Johnny. Beautiful look. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, there's what? a dog bed comfy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bye. Say so love, love you. Can you put me on your shoulder? Yeah, mate. Loves you. Love you. Deacon, I'm going to golf now. I'll see you later. Do I get squeezes? Any squeezes? Come on. Squeeze me then. Squeeze me, squeeze me. Where's Daddy going? He's coming out with me for half hour. Where? He's coming to golf with me. Can you catch some fish? <laughs> no, golf, not fishing. To hit the ball. To hit the balls, yes. <sighs> We're back. I'm calling it a bat right now. Oh, that was nice. It's like 170. What's <laughs> silly? Yeah. Colin, not so much. Whoa, what was that toe at the end?
Last ball. Last ball is the best shot of the night. I ordered this because after golf the other day, I hurt my shoulder and my shoulder was killing me for days. And what I wanted was a really good massage. So I bought one of these. I know, it looks weird, but these are supposed to be amazing for hitting all the knots in your backs and stuff. Look, in your backs, in your back. You got this, the back of your neck, look. Roll it and down your neck. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's good. How much was it? Ah, I don't need to talk about that one. I'd like to love you, love you.